became a psychologist because I am endlessly fascinated about the human experience. Um, it started early for me as a Year 12 student reading uh, Viktor Frankl's uh, Man's Search for Meaning. Um, this really piqued my interest um, and it's continued ever since. I'm fascinated by human biology, by human neurobiology, uh, that connection between mind and body. Um, I'm also a yoga teacher, so there's that connection there. Um, and that fascination about humans' lives, human people's lives, their experiences, um, is something that stays with me every single day. I'm most passionate and interested in that connection between mind and body, um, how that connection plays out, how it plays out in people's um, lives, their traumas, their experiences. And it's at the core of the work that I do, helping people understand um, how their problems or issues came about um, and using that understanding to work out how we solve their problems and issues. I'm most satisfied when I see um, that light go off in people's minds, when, when they have that aha moment and it energises them and energises their commitment to their therapy. In a first session, a client can expect um, very much a get to know you session. Um, I focus on getting to know them, their, their lives, their interests, um, the things that have influenced them. Um, and from there, I, my focus is on um, figuring out what they want to get out of therapy, what their goals for therapy are. Um, it's a, it's, I find that first session one of the most fascinating things um, as part of this role. Here is a person who's coming to meet me for the first time, they don't know, know me, I don't know them, and yet there's an expectation that we're going to have a very deep conversation. And it, sometimes it puts a lot of pressure on people, so I like to take the pressure off and, um, and just be very personable um, and get to know them as best I can and put them at ease importantly.